What's going on guys? It's Patrick from Purple Park Studios and today I want to show you a little bit how I made this cool little environment inside a blender. So the first thing you'll notice is some volumetric fog over the bulk of the scene and there's four cubes that I subdivided and sculpt it. And then I've got myself here some keyed out green screen footage that I use images as planes to bring that into Blender. If you don't know how to bring green screen footage into Blender, I'll link a video in the description that'll show you how to do that. So we go into rendered mode here and as you can see, I've got an HDRI for my lighting and the emphasis is on the sky. I think that's a really cool sky right there with the sun in the background. It just adds some cinematic atmosphere. A good feeling to the overall scene. And then in the background, you can see here, I've got two photos of some mountains. They're just subtly in the background. So in the final shot, you can't see the whole mountain, but I thought having the tip of those trees and the tip of the mountains there really added something in the final shot. And as you can see here, I've got some ivy hanging from these uh, cliff ledges. These are just basically image textures or ivy where the background's been keyed out. So I'm using those as images as planes. Same with this tree right here. It's just a tree that's the background's been keyed out. So it's very photorealistic. And I know I'm not going to be going behind or around the tree in the shot. So it's appropriate to use in this situation. And it also saves a lot on render time and polygons. As far as the node setup for the environment, I've got the node wrangler enabled here. So I've got my texture coordinates and mapping node going in. And I just played with the rotation on the HDRI, as well as some of the other parameters, such as the scale and a little bit of the location. You can mess around with those. It's a great way to adjust the lighting in your scene. And, you know, sometimes even get a little bit different angle from the HDRI and it can go a long way. And I'm a big fan of doing that. It actually started taking my renders to the next level when I started messing around with some of the settings in the world properties. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.